Welcome to Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. My name's Paul Murray and today we're going to have a look at how we safely pass under a bridge or an overhead cable. In this example we'll be looking at whether we can pass safely under the bridge at Farlow. Bridge clearance is measured using the highest astronomical tide, hat. The actual clearance will depend on the height of time at the time of our arrival. If the height of tide is less than hat, then we will have more clearance. There are four steps that we can use to establish if we will safely pass under the bridge. Step one, find our height of tide at the time of arrival. Step two, how much lower than hat will the height of tide be? Step three, calculate the clearance that we will have under the bridge. And step four, what is the air draft of the vessel? These are the steps that we will use in our example. Step one, we find our height of tide at the time of arrival. In this example, we estimate our time of arrival at the bridge to be 12.15. Using the tide graph, we found the predicted height of tide at 12.15 is 4.2 meters. Step two, how much lower than hat will this height of tide be? The hat at Farlow is 5.4 meters. And we found the predicted height of tide at 12.15 will be 4.2 meters. The falling tide from hat will be the difference between these two heights. In this example, it is 1.2 meters. If the height of tide is below hat, then we will have more clearance. And in this case, we have found the extra clearance to be 1.2 meters. Step three, we calculate the clearance under the bridge at Farlow. We know the height of the bridge at hat will be 14 meters. We can now add the fall of tide from hat, which is an additional 1.2 meters clearance. So this gives us the height of bridge at 12.15 of 15.2 meters. Step four, what is the air draft of the vessel? The vessel's air draft in our example is 14 meters. This is the height of the mast above the water level. We've decided to allow an extra margin. In our example, we require an extra clearance of one meter. So in order to safely pass under the bridge at Farlow, the air clearance required will be 15 meters. We have established that we can pass under the Farlow Bridge at 1225 and proceed up the river. We found the height of bridge at Hat is 14 meters, but the height of bridge at the time of our arrival is greater it's 15.2 meters. And this is because of the fall in tide from hat. The required height for us to pass safely under the bridge with one meter additional clearance is only 15 meters. So the predicted clearance, including our one meter margin is sufficient. Here's a reminder of the four steps that we followed so that we could establish that we can safely pass under the bridge. That's how we calculate if we can safely pass 
Under a Bridge. My name's Paul Murray from Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. We hope that you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.